let's have a look at the different costs that we can identify on our project. We look at direct cost, indirect costs and other costs that we may incur. We look at the project estimate, contingency reserve and management reserves. So let's start with the direct cost, indirect cost and other. Direct costs are all costs directly related to the project. For example, the wages of the people working on the project, the equipment, training related to the project, travel specific for the project. When equipment, training and travel are used for other projects, then they don't belong in the direct costs. Indirect cost relates to all the costs that are incurred due to a normal operation of the organization. It relates to human resources, legal issues, insurances, support, fringe benefits. And like I said before, it can include general equipment, training which is specific for the organization, travel for these trainings or for other meetings. And then we have all other costs, which are costs which are not related to either direct cost or indirect cost. They typically relate to overhead, management reserve and inflation. So these three types of costs are important to distinguish. And let's go to the next slide. The project estimate. The project estimate is the total cost of the project. It's related to all the work that has to be done. It doesn't take into account the funds for risk management and changes. So we make a small distinction here because when we look at the total project, of course, we have to include risk and changes. Contingency reserve is a typical reserve to cover the risks. They will be part of the total project budget when we are making the total comparison with the business case and they will be determined during the risk management evaluation of the project which we will see in the next section. Management reserves are also important because there are some reserves that management adds to count with unexpected events. These can happen typically during project execution, but there can also be different parameters involved, inflation, other things that may happen. Change is possible, so management anticipates change and takes it into account in the management reserves. These management reserves are not considered in the business case. They are out of the business case because they don't really relate to the project itself. However, when changes are discussed, the fact that these changes will have an effect on the cost of the project, in this case, of course, we have to evaluate if the project still complies with the business case. For those changes, we can use the management reserves, but then of course, they become part of the project evaluation. So, let's get ready for the next session. See you there. We will have a lot of calculations to do, so be ready for it.